The hammer blow South Korea's president's been dreading for months. Park Geun-hye officially kicked out of office on Friday. Judges in the Constitutional Court unanimously upholding a parliament vote to impeach her. The most dramatic turn so far in the country's sweeping corruption scandal. It's the first time a democratically elected president has been booted from power in the country's history. The culmination of months of massive open-air protests demanding Park's removal for abuse of power. Prosecutors accuse her of working with her friend Chae Soon Shield to pressure big business to donate to pro-Park foundations that Choi set up. And for soliciting bribes from major corporate leaders, including J.Y. Lee, the head of Samsung, who is currently being held in a prison cell. Now that she's been axed from power, Park will lose all presidential immunity from prosecution and faces a potential state investigation and possible indictment. Throughout the scandal, she's claimed she's innocent and the victim of a conspiracy without giving proof. Park's defense will likely hinge on arguing she never benefited financially from Che's foundations. Che's already been in and out of court for abuse of power and bribery. Prosecutors view the two of them as partners in crime. A new leader will be chosen in May, a short election playing out as Pak fights for her innocence. Her conservative coalition has been badly fractured in the wake of the scandal. And the man who ran against her four years ago, Moon Jae-in, is already leading the polls.